Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This right here is the Motherland series where I have conversations and you know talk to some of the clients that we have at Royal Kingdom Estates. Just get to hear their journey, how you know the transitioning from outside to Ghana has been, their expectations and you know everything as a full package. So today is going to be very entertaining, very interesting. There's a lot to unpack so just sit back, relax, Let's write it together. I am your host, Adra Adi, and today the lovely couple that I'll be speaking to is Francis and Denise. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hello, hello, Adra. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank Denise? you for having us. Good. Yeah, you're settled in nicely, you're feeling good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At home. At home, yeah? yeah. That's home. the best one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay, so jumping right into it, just tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, your career, you know, what do you do? Who is Denise and Francis? Hmm. Well, I am born in London, okay. England. Um, my parents are African-Caribbean. My dad's Dominican, my mom's Jamaican. And, um, you know, so I've got, you know, a mix of both, you know, Caribbean cultures. Yeah. Um, so educated in the UK, London, um, social work, nurse and midwife. Yeah. Okay. So um, in that order. Mm -hmm. So I've been work working in the service sector. Okay. Yes, for over 20 years. Yeah, over 20 years. Over 20 <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. Yeah. So, um, yeah, um, then I met Francis, um, we've got two boys together. Oh. We've been married for 20 years or more. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's wow. That's wow. 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 I am from Sierra Leone. Okay. And uh, I grew up, grew up in Sierra Leone mm -hmm. and I uh, went to school in Sierra Leone. And uh, I had a lovely time in Sierra Leone and I uh, left Sierra Leone when I was um, 19. 19? 19 years okay. old. And um, yeah, we've been married, myself and my wife, for about 20 years. Our son. You can't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, was so around those yeah, areas. Yes. So fast. So, uh, <laughs> 20 and above. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our eldest son is 21 mm. and the younger one wow. is 19. Mm. And um, the, uh, they themselves has had some kind of experience that I have from school. Okay. Their teacher has all been Ghanaian. Wow. Currently, the lecturer at college mm -hmm. is a Ghanaian oh. who would normally tell them, have you done your homework? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Making sure that all, <laughs> exactly. all this sort uh, of reports has been done. Ghanaians make sure you do it right. <laughs> yeah, so um, I've been in the in, um, air conditioning industry for okay. about, about 20 years okay. now, uh, working in some really high mm. profile building. Mm. And, uh, that's that's but, nice. I love how your family is, you know, affiliated. You have been now your, your kids are affiliated with Ghanaians. It's really, really lovely. Right. to hear. So let's talk about your origin. You said you're originally from Sierra Leone Correct. and you have Jamaican descent. Mm -hmm. That's Jamaican and Dominican. The Jamaican my and Dominican. Dominican. Mm -hmm. And my mom's Jamaican, but mm -hmm. the Jamaican culture is quite dominant, you know, in mm -hmm. terms of, you know, because the mother, you know, very matriarchal system, the Caribbean. So right. the mother's family is always quite, you know, not, I wouldn't say dominant, but very influential. Okay. And so, you know, I've had a lot of um, influences from my mother's side. So, okay. you know, I'm very, like, uh, knowledgeable about the Jamaican culture. Right. You know, because obviously the men kind of are assimilated into the um, female culture. Okay. Where, you know, Caribbeans are concerned. Mm -hmm. It's very matrilineal right. you know but whereas i find it with francis his culture is very patriarchal right yeah? and um basically it's a woman that you know kind of moves into the man's the home man's area, helm yeah and the the cultural influence is very much you know from the, the man's the men's perspective, perspective right with, because i've you know growing up caribbean i've had a lot of um, Dominique, um jamaican sorry influences okay. and now i've got to give my dad some <laughs> <laughs> some pretty very good father and everything like that but definitely my my experience has been african 
Jamaican, Jamaican. you know, Afro-Caribbean influence right. on that side, mm -hmm. you know. So, and for me, it's quite beneficial because, you know, the Jamaicans are very confident, exactly. aspirational, mm -hmm. so the Dominicans as well, mm -hmm. but because Jamaican culture is quite dominant, you know, I've had the influence, the Jamaican influence there. So I, right. I would say that um, I, I do classi classify myself as um, British, but of African, Caribbean origin, okay. you know, because a lot of the influences are coming from home, you know, the Caribbean okay. side yeah. of things. Mm -hmm. But um, yes, um, so I, what, I, what I say is I've had the blessings of both culture, mm -hmm. you know, the, the westernized culture and the, the African, um, the African yeah. Caribbean culture. Yeah. But, you know, London culture, very dominated by, you know, African, African Caribbean culture. Exactly. Very dominated. You know, that's the in thing, you mm -hmm. know, in terms of music, fashion. Everything really, you know, it's food, of, yeah, you know, food, yeah. fashion, mm -hmm. you know, everything down to, you know, body type, <laughs> you know, stuff right. like that. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, all, all credit to, you know, the females, you know, mm -hmm. as well. Positivity in yes. terms of, you know, the black females, yes. especially what's going on, at females of African mm -hmm. descent, you know. So, yeah, it's all yeah. good. It's all good. I've know? had the pleasure of meeting some Jamaican women. I have a very close friend. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Sasha. Mm -hmm. She's amazing and she's Jamaican. Mm -hmm. I'd say Jamaican women are very bold and that's what I'm getting off of you. Yeah. Very, very yeah. bold. Yeah. And I just want to confirm one thing. Mm -hmm. Is it true that you people cannot live without chips? <laughs> you love your chips. <laughs> You love your chips. No. <laughs> chicken and chips. Chicken and <laughs> chips. Chicken and chips. You add the chicken to the chips, you know. We're talking about jerk. Because the, the thing is, this is Jamaican influence. Sorry, I'm trying out loud, Caribbean influence. Sorry, Dad, you know, the Dominican aspect. But, you know, there's yeah. a lot of jerk, you know, takeaways, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. We've got, um, is it Dr. Jerk or whatever? You know, we have a lot of um, Caribbean restaurants and everything like that. And Cyril Onions. And Cyril Onions. They're coming up, you know, oh. and stuff like that. But, yeah, jerk, chicken and chips. Yeah. Just yeah. add the chicken. Yeah. Yeah. And you're chicken. good to go. Even in rap music, chicken <laughs> and the chips, you know. And it's funny enough, our, even our boys, you know, they, uh, they you know, they um yeah. they're, they're promoting the chicken and chips as well. But yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. We that's to show you the influence of African Caribbean culture. Right. In right. the um, you know, and I said jerk is quite an African African influence as well. Yeah. Because, you know, um cured, you know, mm -hmm. meat the jerk in, in flavor of in terms of actually getting the meat cured, you know, right. that that's jerk right. and the mm -hmm. pepper mm -hmm. and the lemon yeah. and the mm -hmm. lime and yeah. Mm -hmm. Your vinegar top and everything. Get rid of all the toxins. Well seasoned. Well seasoned. Yeah. Well seasoned. Well seasoned. Exactly. I, I have to admit that it's you know it's from generation. That's mm. a generational education. Mm -hmm. It's coming from my great my grandma, my great grandma. So it's something that's very important. Yeah. You know, yeah. in terms of you know our culture. Okay. You know, it's not something you just you know jerk is something that's significant. Preservation yeah. of meat. Yeah. Cleaning meat. Yeah. You know, from me medical background, cleaning the meat. You know, it's very good it's, so, it's, it's important positive, yes, so, yes 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 yeah, so it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Francis, let me come to you. Right. Now, um, growing up in Sierra Leone, how was it like? And are there any, now that you've been here, you're in Ghana, are there any similarities between the, uh, the two cultures? Right, yes, there is a lot of similarities because uh, not least, um, we are only about an hour and a half flight mm -hmm. from here, mm -hmm. from the Ghanaian capital to the Sierra Leone capital, Freetown. Yeah. So um, we have had quite a lot of intermarriages and the the biggest one of all is education right education uh was exported from this country i'm talking about professors mm -hmm. school teachers and the list goes on so and from there that influence you know um get captured yeah. to what it is today okay so um Gannett actually is a is, is we say is 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 a big brother okay. to Sierra Leone, to is a Sierra very Leone. small country. Right. Yeah. So the culture is very, very similar and the language are also very similar. We mm -hmm. speak the Pigeon English as well, okay. which is which is what I would understand if you speak Pigeon English here. Oh, you, you, know, do, you I, did I, okay. I, 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 you did fine. I, 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 I do fine though. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that me? Is that uh, you that me? <laughs> I do very well. I, I do mean, fine. No, uh, <laughs> You, 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 my pigeon goes. you know, you know that. <laughs> so yeah, you know, we, yeah. we have the, the, the language link uh -huh. and the cultural link and it's the same. If 
if unless I tell someone I'm mm -hmm. from Sierra Leone, nobody will know I'm from Sierra Leone. Right. Because I'm here, I'm just, I look you just blend like perfectly. Any, any, any of the guys yeah, here, yeah. you know. <laughs> so um, the culturally, food and, and, and all the rest of the mm. things that, that associated with, with stretching, we're talking about West Africa. Yeah. It's, it's from one country to the other, it's yeah. not really too far. So we, we, we say from here to Ivory Coast, mm -hmm. you know, you can even travel by road yes, to my can. country as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, culturally, the similarities and, and everything else is almost the same. Okay. You know, That's... so I find it very, very easy to mm -hmm. adapt here. Yeah. And so will anyone from here will adapt in Sierra Leone. True. You know? All right. So, yes. Okay. So let me ask you guys this. Um, the development in the Western, you know, world, um, if you compare it to the developments in Africa, or let's be specific, Ghana, what are some, you know, let's talk about the gap between the two, because people do say that the Western world is so advanced, but then now we are also advancing. Yeah. How, how do you see the improvements and stuff? So what I'd say is Ghana has opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I would say the, the you know, living in London, London has, still has a lot of business opportunity. But Ghana's basically, you can see the potential is there. Right. You, know, you can see the potential, mm -hmm. in, you know, in terms of real estate. Um, uh, you could see, you know, we see the buildings going up, you know, um, mm -hmm. definitely with the diaspora coming in. Uh, obviously, Chinese influences as well, because mm -hmm. obviously you, you need the infrastructure to, yeah. to get the, the businesses underway. So I'd say there's potential mm -hmm. here and big potential. And it's there, you know, you haven't reached a period of exhaustion. You know what I'm saying? The opportunity is there. Um, so in terms of trade and everything like that, you could be you know, building, you know, you start in your home, yeah. but you can see all the opportunities there mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, the electricians that you need, maybe the service, yeah. the architects, to cope with the level of development in Ghana. Yeah. You could see, you know, just as you go through Accra, you see the new buildings going up and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So I'd say there's opportunity here and I say that you know it's it's what I anticipated in terms of the development it's what I anticipated and more okay yeah, because when I went to the malls we see all the shops mm -hmm. just on par with the London it's like exactly. all the yeah. shops all the shops that you have in yeah. London yeah. they're here yeah you know and stuff like that so definitely in terms of opportunity there's a lot of opportunity in terms of moving forward into the future this is the place right this is the place right in terms Absolutely. of opportunity Perfectly this is the place. Said, and i yeah. anticipated this level of development when i came here this is what i anticipated and actually more yeah so i actually wanted to come to that i want i really want to know so when you walked outside the kotoka airport what, what was the first thing that went through your mind what did you think no well, final was excited well, I was, um, <laughs> it's, it's for my part, I was really excited. Mm -hmm. um, everything was organized. Right. Um, clearing the, the, the immigration. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, we walked through um, the immigration as, for as little as 10 minutes. Not because it was done badly, mm -hmm. but it was so organized. Right. We have the checking, mm -hmm. you know, the exit stands and everything that was done in about um, five, 10 minutes at okay. most. And also reclaiming the baggage mm -hmm. was really speedy it was and good. very, very fast. Okay. A lot of transportation around. You have the established Uber connection yeah. that can take you, you know, pretty much anywhere. Yeah. So um, there is a lot of high the biometrics. Um, the biometrics. The bike. Bi <laughs> <laughs> Denise. Yeah. So, 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 how we how sold our soul. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying we sold our soul. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the fingerprinting, the yeah. yeah. But it's, 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 it's very, it's, very it's, fast. It's necessary. It was effective. But, um, very, very all fast, the programs, yeah. all the the. the the, the, the activities with that we came across at yeah. the was pretty good. It was nice. Straightforward. Okay. And as we step out, um, you know, everything was done ordering. Mm -hmm. We went to, uh, you know, um, so the person that was waiting for yeah. us and picked us and brought us down here. It was so really, it was, it, was, it, was, it was smooth. We could have Very easily welcome. gone okay. and have a meeting if we were in a business meeting right. the same day. So it, it was pretty worked straightforward. Out. Right. Yeah. So there has been there are really good things mm -hmm. happening because time is of the essence. Yeah. From when you clear the airport 
and get to your hotel destination. Yeah. yeah. That was about seven o'clock. Yeah. I still have a lot of time to get a meeting and write reports. Do everything what, else that you, you need know, to do. Even right. before the day dies down. Okay. So great, great time. Management. That is a very, very, very good fast. infrastructure yeah. very implementation. That's, that's good airport. to hear. That makes me proud. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I must say, the staff, airport staff, very welcoming. Courteous, okay. you know, mm -hmm. very, very, very um, welcoming. Yeah. Full of hospitality. Yes, as Ghanaians, we're yeah, known for our yeah. hospitality. Yeah. Oh, we will welcome you very well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I felt like it was like um, home. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Caribbean, like I felt like the same sort of vibes. Yeah. Like home, you mm -hmm. know? This is our first um, and second, second time in, in, in Africa. Africa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, obviously, there's a new thing mm -hmm. to learn. Yeah. Obviously, I've been quite a lot mm -hmm. of that area yeah. in yeah. Africa. That's so. true. For her, it's the first time. So, uh, nice. so far, so good. So far, so oh, good. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's keep the energy. <laughs> I think it's going to be calm till you ride out, yeah. and it's time for you guys to go. Yes. It will be very yes. lovely. Yes. So, I want to find out what were some perceptions or some some things that you had about Ghana that you got here and realized, oh, that's not true, or oh, that's true. Because me personally, before I travel anywhere, I do a lot of research, right? Because I'm going right. to a place for the first time. I need to find out what's happening here. Like, what are the people like? So was there anything that you had that you got here and you debunked or you were like, okay, okay, that's actually true? In terms of the media, okay, um, you really don't get the full picture when you're um, at home when mm. you're in London. Right. Home, conflict or home. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in London you don't really you're not really versed in the development. You yeah. Really don't really know the scale of right. the development. It's only when I was flying and we were, you know, um the plane was descending and I saw the whole of Africa, it was like, wow, this it was is vast. <laughs> it was the level nice. of development and stuff like yeah. that. So you don't really see that um, commercially, you don't really see that. It's not really something that is broadcasted um, in in the West. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think if, if you have friends, because I have a quite an integrated community in London, because mm -hmm. obviously I work in the NHS, so we're from all over the world there right. in the yeah. NHS. So right. the 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 um, information I got from friends is pretty accurate. It's okay. accurate, but I, I couldn't depend on the press for that mm -hmm. information. It's you have to come find out yourself. Mouth. It's yeah. word of mouth. So definitely, so what I anticipated through word of mouth from uh -huh. my friends. Mm -hmm. in the integrated community mm -hmm. is what I expected okay. you know, and more and more but it's not so much promoted um, um, not you know the, the level of development is not so much promoted in the they world. don't talk yeah. about it enough out there not really yeah. Yeah. you know it's only people who have traveled or mm -hmm. who well versed and, and know a lot about you know travel they, they were the ones that will tell you but it's not really publicized yeah. on, on media yeah. you have to definitely if you have a community of friends that are very well you know from different you know nationalities that's where you hear yeah so it's word of mouth really okay and not only that the um we're, we're coming away from television, really. In, okay. Uh, in, uh, most of us, we watch Netflix. YouTube is very dominant. Yes. So, um, our sons, I don't think they were surprised because they've got friends, very integra integrated community, mm -hmm. you know, African, people of African descent, African-Caribbean descent, uh, you know, um, Greek, Cypriots and all that. And mm -hmm. very much, you know, I think the music industry is really integrating yeah, that's, the young. So this is where they true. get their education mm -hmm. with regards to advancement in Africa, true. particularly Ghana. You yeah, you so can God see is very it. Big for even our sons, I don't Absolutely. think they were surprised because we sent no. them a few videos. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, what shall I say? So, media. So, what I say is media, not marginalized, not mainstream media. What they, they, they you know, mainstream media is, it doesn't have any influence. Mm -hmm. Everyone's after, yeah. you know, YouTube, mm -hmm. Netflix, and that's where they get their education. Yeah. So, if you're following those, you know, forms of media, then definitely you, mm -hmm. you would anticipate this level of development in, yeah. in African cultures, particularly yeah. West African, mm -hmm. you know. Um, countries okay mm. all right so let's let's veer a little towards real estate right um what's your relationship with royal kingdom estates right <laughs> <laughs> her friend traveled over here mm -hmm. uh, her name is melanie uh, salmon okay I don't know you're right with that. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 we're going to get in trouble. As she get said, Melanie Travel. Yeah. And um, <laughs> they had an opportunity to be showing, um, showing some plots of uh, spaces. Yeah, uh, to some land. The land to yeah. acquire. And, um, she, oh, she was looking to purchase some, mm. some land. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And she has already okay. and her friend. Mm. And um, she rang because um, it's the best friend of um, my Aww. wife as well <laughs> and um, she rang her and spoke and said well it's the only availability 
He said, well, how quick do you want us in now? So how do you know you can you need it now? Yeah. Have you have you have you been there? So I don't need to be there. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I already know mm -hmm. it's, it's 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 my country. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, I'm just about an hour and a yeah. half flights for the yeah. reason I explained earlier mm -hmm. and the the culture and yes, everything. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, I'll, I'll be interested. He says, sure. I say, yeah, I'm 100. percent Okay, so I'll give you a number, mm -hmm. the person you can contact him, and then you take it from there. So I spoke to Danny himself. Danny himself. It's the, the CEOs of Royal Kingdom. Yes. And then um, we had a chat and um, he promised that he was going to call me. He called me promptly oh. and uh, we had a conversation. Mm -hmm. He ran through what was my, you know, uh, what I want and and and, and what kind of uh, land you're area looking, I'm looking for. for how yeah. Many yeah. And um, I told him exactly what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And he said there was an availability. So I told him, so we well, send me detail. He sent me the detail. And um, I went ahead straight away with the purchase even before coming here. Wow. I you had faith. Uh -huh. You had faith. Had faith. That's have, strong the, faith. Yeah. I'm so no, glad. It's, 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 I knew what I, uh, in fact, mm -hmm. my, my conviction is already established. Right. Because I know what somebody else is, will be talking mm -hmm. about. Oh, I've got this encounter. That, that's really not because I know I'm working with people who yeah. give me, you know, day to day information yeah. and it is really very, very good. So I don't need to be here to to uh, purchase a line. Yeah. Are you gonna, uh, this friend of mine actually said, are you going to send a fund? I said, yeah. In fact, as a matter of fact, I've actually sent a fund. Yeah. I said that is in process. How do you know it exists? I say it is exists. It's, it, it's, it's there. It's there. So, <laughs> I, think, uh, well, I think, you know, really and truly, you did your research as well. Yeah, I, I mean, yes. on social media, all, he did his research. All the, um, wow. the, the, the research and everything else. But in the end, um, there was no doubt about what, you know, and her friend was talking about. And yeah, my, she my, had the testimony. Word of mouth so, again. Yeah. It, word yeah. of mouth. Word of, yeah. Very yeah. important. So we purchased and um, we, we all the paperwork were done almost swiftly, no problem at all. It was, you know, and everything that somebody else would have said mm -hmm. in the past was completely dispelled. But I have, I wasn't surprised. I said because it's not true. These guys are doing something completely different. The yeah. narrative has to change. They yes, have, things has to be done differently. Mm -hmm. Whatever the status quo, or what was going on, or what is not going on now. What is going on right now is a completely different yeah. narrative and the narrative has to be told. Mm -hmm. You know, if somebody say I'm wearing white shoes and it's not white, then we have to tell that to ourselves yeah. or to the world. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, I think, can you say one more question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe even my influence from my, my parents, yeah. you know, they, they've, um, they obviously they came to the um, UK and they had the working ethic and um, my dad actually, I mean obviously the generation behind now, but he actually saw a vision of building back in, well they say so-called third world country, you know, mm -hmm. in um, Dominica. He's managed to build, he's been successful, not in terms of business-wise, but in terms of finding a second home. So with that experience, experience behind you then you know you're not fearful of taking ventures out i know this is very different because yeah. you know, um ghana's definitely on a different scale to yeah. the caribbean yeah but with 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 that um with 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 my dad's confidence mm -hmm. you know rebuilding you know back home i think that's kind of it's kind of helped us hasn't it absolutely have faith you know that you could do something you know whether it, it, it be in um, the caribbean or um you know west africa yeah. you can build a home and 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 you can be still successful business-wise yes yeah. um, so that that basically that experience for me has given me the confidence to probably encourage francis to say yeah you absolutely. can do it have a go you know yeah. it's not bad it's more bad you get I the see. benefits you know particularly the weather mm -hmm. you know in terms of opportunity health wise and, yeah but and here specifically business-wise as well mm -hmm. so the opportunity is there so yeah. you know, it's your experiences yeah. as well yeah. you know with my parents as well they were very pioneering I must say my dad and my mom so the Dominican influence mm. is now coming mm -hmm. in dad you don't mm -hmm. have to worry so my dad th th definitely had a vision going back home mm -hmm. you know and building you know life back home you know and that's given us motivation to do things yeah. you know, yeah. so, you know so abroad isn't it well, yeah. yeah I was actually coming to ask you on that so let me just touch on it a little bit mm -hmm. so some some that 
diasporans, most diasporans don't feel like um, they need to necessarily come back, you know, to Africa because some people don't believe that there's actually, you know, business opportunities yeah. down here for them. They're very skeptical about relocating here. It's like, how do I move my business? You know, how do I start something new? How are the people going to receive my ideas? Are they different from what I'm used to out there? So people are very, very, very skeptical when it comes to coming back to um, um, to Ghana or tracing back their roots and stuff like that. Well, I can say uh, there's never been any scepticism where I'm concerned because, as I said, I'm from an integrated community. Yeah. I have Ghanaian friends, Nigerian friends, um, mm -hmm. Congolese friends, mm -hmm. Cameroon friends. Mm -hmm. And my family, there's a lot of marriages, you know, and relationships with people from different parts of West Africa. Yeah. yeah? And my uncle lives in Gambia yeah, mm -hmm. and his wife was um, from Zimbabwe. Yeah. So, um, Definitely, I've had that positive experiences of building businesses abroad and seeing it work. Yeah. yeah. So um, I have no skepticism. I had no doubt. And obviously, my husband is West African. I've seen the developments in his country as well. Yeah. Even though there's that political conflict, but I've seen it work. Absolutely. And even with his friends and mm -hmm. colleagues, I've seen it work. So I had no doubt, no doubt whatsoever. And even with my British friends, you know, a lot of them, you know, um, have, um, you know, so-called middle-class gentrified communities. They have businesses <laughs> yeah. here, and this is where they come. Yeah. They come to Ghana yeah. for business opportunity. You know, because there's, you know, for me, it's a growing economy. Mm -hmm. You know, business-wise. So, uh, I had no skepticism, no doubt. If you, if, if you, as I said, word of mouth. Yeah. And, and yeah. experience is very important. Not yes. so much depending on you know the press or mainstream. You know, going, you know, searching, doing your social research as you did, you know, through social yeah. media. That's the biggest educator. Mm -hmm. And your friends, your associates, and, you know, networking. That's the biggest True. thing. Networking and that's, is yeah, always networking important. Networking is so important. Yeah. And you find that countries that are developing, when they are fully developed, mm -hmm. um, it's only when you see the success that you realize. And if I like, yeah. it's not on either, they don't really advertise it, do they? You know, Absolutely. It's, a, it's only when yeah, happening the, the things have been happening in the background. Yeah. And when you see that success, um, finally, you know, when it's successful, then you, you see it on social media. Yeah. But we don't want to be, we don't want to be there. We want to be where it's happening, where yeah. development and progress is happening. Mm -hmm. We want to get in there yeah. where it's happening. We want to enjoy the journey that's and, the time and get there. We don't want to get there when it's too late. Yes, and, that's and, and this is the opportunity that we want for ourselves and for our children mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. You know, it's like we are, um, you know, not, not so much as going back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But actually, um, seizing the opportunity yes. while it's while the opportunity is mm -hmm. there, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, so not getting the fruits when it's right, but actually helping mm -hmm. with the building process. Yes, and then enjoying. You know, yeah. the end of the journey. Yes, so yes, that, yes. that's what it is for us, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Um, Enjoying um, the end of I'm the journey. I'm so glad you touched Working on Working towards the development. Yes, development. exactly. Yeah. That's what I'd love to be. Yeah, part of. yeah. you touched yeah. on um, um, seizing the opportunity now yeah. and getting things right now. Mm -hmm. uh, our chief or our engineer would tell you that the best time to buy land mm -hmm. is now absolutely <laughs> is now you don't have to wait mm -hmm. and then you know i'm gonna do it later i'm gonna land appreciates by the yeah. time you're ready to buy it it mm -hmm. would either be sold sold out or the price has escalated so it's always good to do things in the moment mm -hmm. now yeah transitioning to land you bought yours at grace city yeah. oh how do you like grace city Oh, Grace City is, I call it the Kingdom of a Brie. Okay. I like that. <laughs> That's a new name for you. I like that. We should, we should, we should brand it. The Kingdom of a Brie. The Kingdom of a Brie. Yeah. Um, it is peaceful. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's the serenity and yeah. the peace is ab absolutely deafening. Mm. If you want to, to refresh your mind, yeah. if you want to re reset yourself mm -hmm. if you want to think clearly going forward yeah you want to be in gray city phase two phase one phase two phase three mm. from a distance you can you can imagine just about anything that you probably want to do yeah. and it will come to flourishing yeah it is peace on earth yeah and therefore uh, nothing surpass it 
and at nothing comparable mm -hmm. to to what it is. Yeah. So for my part, I love it to to bits. Yeah. Um, which is why I was involved with some few activities yesterday, and I hope things can move on as quick as yeah. they can. Mm -hmm. We will be moving there pretty soon. As soon as soon as possible. <laughs> Denise, yes. you like it there? <laughs> Yeah, it's good. It's it's it's, it's developing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my motivation is is uh, my my friend, as we used to, Melanie. We're mentioning your name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh Melanie is just she's very well. Melanie, you're she's the pioneer. Well. Melanie, you're the pioneer. She's, she's come up twice. Yeah. Well, well, she's on the first phase. Yeah. You know, Grey City, and when I've seen the developments there, that's been a real motivation to see yeah. how fast it's yeah. grown. Mm -hmm. So revelation. Yeah, definitely, we'd like to be a part of that um, growing community. Mm -hmm. And when you see the buildings that are being erected you know it's yeah. quite fast isn't it within Absolutely. six very months yeah. you know? and that is very you know for us it's a positive thing isn't yeah. it you yeah. can see the developments you know and so that is basically my motivation just mm -hmm. wanted to be a part of it really and yeah. um, i'm seeing it growing you know going to fruition isn't yeah. it yeah. We just yeah. in real all time. the buildings yeah. i mean i think it was yesterday we were there on yes. the land and yeah. everything and not only we're we're we're, we're working as a community yes. it's a community it's a community, it's a community. It's a community. It's it is it's really collective is. and yes. that's what i like about it yeah. so you know we're yes. all seeing it from the beginning and we're getting excited <laughs> right you're oh, watching said, well, you're... did you see how oh. she, it's going up before <laughs> us and, you know that's really exciting yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. touching that coming back onto that uh, 20 years ago or so if if you were to be told that cantonment will be what it is today, right. you would say, oh, please, uh, this is mm -hmm. same old, same old. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you want to know whether what really it is now, you have to come here and see. Mm -hmm. And obviously ask for how much it will cost you for yeah. the block of land yeah. that it is available. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the journey that we really want to make sure it is if you want to be part of this journey, mm -hmm. it is now. It's it now. Kind of scale, it is yeah. now. So, yes. Because 10 years from now, the bag of cement will be different. It's, and steel it's road going will be up. different. Everything will be different. Yes. So if you want to come on board, the time is now. The time is now. Because I think more and more people from all over the world are coming into, you know, knowing there was they're seizing the opportunities here. Yeah. So I think it's so important for us to get on board now before uh, market prices become competitive. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Um, jumping on the opportunity now, like I say, it's particularly for young people. Mm -hmm. You know, because obviously they have the time, mm -hmm. they have the energy, and everything. Like, yeah. Now is the time. Time. That was the time. It really, it really is. is. And for me, it's critical. Mm -hmm. You know, time in terms of technology is moving so fast. So fast. So I think, you know, from what we've seen, the changes that we've seen, mm -hmm. even though in some of the buildings here, what you put on the, you know, the embassy strip. Yeah. We've seen things developing so fast. Mm -hmm. So things that were, you know, reasonable, no, you know, affordable. Then, well, we, we, ah, it's just off the. We, we drove in certain areas yeah. in, in the cantonment. Yeah. And she was. She was really very, very amazing. Yeah. Spaces exist. Mm -hmm. So, well, they've been here. Um, True. And, and, and that's just the building blocks mm. that from, we will extend yeah. on a greater part. And with everything else that, that comes along with it. That's true. It's not only building, it's, you know, being and as, as one people mm -hmm. trying to put the narrative, telling the story as it is from our exactly. own perspective. From, exactly, from your yeah. own experience. Think, yes. <laughs> Africa for me has the resources mm -hmm. and where you know where um, any country has the resources when we're, when we're talking about raw material we're talking about gold we're talking about you know um, oil in terms of everything. oil coffee yes. sugar cocoa everything you it's not only us there's a lot of people from all over the world yes. coming and having an interest in Africa I, I call Africa a tap Mm -hmm. That's constantly running, running. in terms of resources. Absolutely. So everybody's going to have their eye yeah. on, you know, Africa, particularly Western African mm -hmm. cultures as mm -hmm. well. You know, the, the country. Yeah. So why not, as a diaspora, jump on board yes. and enjoy, you know, mm -hmm. and enjoy the, the fruits of your development or your, <laughs> of your labour? Why not? And it'll be an education for the third generation. Right. Third generation, yeah, yeah. Yes. So th this is the time, and I think it's critical. Mm. You know. You know, in terms of the resources and in terms of they talk about global warming, us running out of resources yeah. and things like that. 
I think now is the time to um, take the opportunity mm. to um, you know take advantage of what the, you know what's going on, what they you have to offer in terms of businesses. Yeah. Because obviously your resources, you're trading your resources with development, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So this is the time before things get too expensive, exactly. you know, and things like that. Because you know, life is you know the, the things are getting more and more expensive. Inflation is growing in terms of the economy. Right. Everything's right. This is the time, you yeah. know. This is the time. It's critical. So that, that's you know. Yeah. You either yeah. catch on now mm. or you get left behind. Or you get left so behind. Exactly. That's really important. Yeah. So finally, before we run away, what mm. do you have to say to diasporans out there that are you know aspiring to come down here and then start projects just like you're doing? All right. Julia. I would say jump on board before it's too late. Mm -hmm. Do it for for yourself, but if not for yourself, for your children, for their future. Right. There's opportunity here. For me, it's critical. Take that opportunity mm -hmm. and take it now. now. Take it now. And our, our children are watching us. They're seeing us. Yeah. And this is an inspiration for them and for their generation and their future generations. Yeah. It's positive. Take yeah. the opportunity. Now, <laughs> time is critical. Yes, right. Yes. You, 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 we talk about the time is now, but it's also um, as a human being, we're responsible for uh, what we do yeah. and what transfer from that point on. Yes. And um, if I was to return back to London, I would get one or two questions. How was it? I would say it was pretty good. But yeah. My friend, come with me, even for about one or two days or mm -hmm. three or one one week. Come share the experience. And, and yeah. um, let's just have a look around, and then you can tell me what you, what you think. Yeah, you, know? you can form your so, own perspectives. Absolutely. Yeah. So we have to tell not only what we're doing here now, we are also responsible for multiplying this story. Mm. Friends should tell friends, and friends would. You don't have to do it now, but have it at the back of your mind yes. that yes. there is you can do more mm -hmm. from where you are yeah. to elsewhere yeah so and that's my message to friend of all uh, i know yeah and people beyond yeah, yeah. so come together mm -hmm. let's build africa yeah it may not have to be ghana it may be elsewhere maybe syria maybe, maybe jamaica Syria. but yeah i can tell you Ghana is the gateway. Yeah. The, right. so, the soil is fertile for development. <laughs> yes. Like everything you could possibly think of food, mm -hmm. technology, mm -hmm. tra you know, um, yeah. textiles, trade. Yeah. The soil is fertile. Yeah. So whilst, you, whilst you're still alive and healthy, come and plant the seeds. Exactly. 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 Seeds. Yeah. You, could, you could start to manufacture shit all. That's very, yeah. <laughs> that's very important. <laughs> yeah. Manufacture. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you. Um enlightening. I am so honored to be here, listen to your story, share your journey with you. And we look forward to all the amazing things that you're gonna do and the partnership that we're gonna have you know with Royal Kingdom Estates and yourself so cheers to more projects in the future mm -hmm. and guys we will be back on the channel with more videos so do subscribe like the video and share it peace out <laughs>